Hey guys, welcome to this new video titled Space Gray Everything. Now, in this video, we're going to be comparing two of Apple's best chips, 8 of X in the iPad Pro 2018 and the A13 chip in the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I want to apologize for the light note video, however, this is the best way Apple show these two devices properly. Every year, Apple announces a new line of products, they always hammer on how good their new processors are. I'm actually surprised that a lot of people have not made this particular video, however, that's why I'm making it, so let's go ahead and see. So we're going to start off with the Geekbench 5 test, however, Geekbench is not free, if you want to get it, well, I paid around $1 for it. So just go here into CPU and on Benchmark. The iPhone 11 Pro Max took around, I think, 2 minutes and 9 or 10 seconds. This one took a few seconds longer. I'm actually surprised to see that single core score, the iPhone 11 Pro Max scored 1336, and for multi score, it scored 3560. The iPad Pro here, 1115 for single core score, 4679 for multi core score. What this means is that the iPad will be able to handle heavier tasks better. However, the iPhone should be able to navigate through those lighter tasks quicker because of its faster sync for score as the processor isn't always going to call on all the cores to handle smaller tasks. I'm really going to head to do the Antutu benchmark test so the video doesn't get too long. The iPad scored 558,187, however, the iPhone 11 Pro Max scored 459,221. Although that suggests the iPad is faster, benchmarks aren't the true test of speed. Now let's see those numbers translate into real life usage by running some games. I'm going to start with apps of 9. iPhone seem to load that a little bit quicker. The iPad loaded that a little bit quicker. So when the iPhone finally loaded, it kicked it out from their account because they're basically on the same account. If that's for nice, they run the background, we're going to load up PUBG. At the same time, iPhone is a little bit faster. iPhone is lead, iPhone is done. And basically, the same account thing also happened there. So, and now this guy is done. Next, we're going to export the same 4K 60 frames, 20 seconds clip that was recorded on the iPhone 11 Pro. So, go. The iPad seems to be in the lead. The iPad is done. And there it is, the iPad exported that about 7 or 8 seconds faster, so definitely the processor there working faster. And finally, even though it's not so significant, we're going to do a speed test on the same not so great internet connection and see how that turns out. The iPhone finished with a higher score. 10.6 while the iPad finished with a 13.8 score. Anyways guys, that's been the video. To be honest, I'm actually surprised at how well the A13 chip in the iPhone 11 Pro Max did against the absolute beast in this guy here, which is the A12X. It actually came out on top in some of the tests, if not most of them. However, the rendering test is where you see the true power of a CPU and I think the iPad might just be making use of, you know, better cooling system as it is large. However, this guy held his own very, very well and I'm actually very impressed with that A13 chip. If you like this video guys, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.